JC, how do you, you think you played on uh, you know, I thought I played all right. You know, there's a lot of things I could have done better. Um, I thought as a group, you know, we played very well. Obviously, when you rush for, I think it was like 188 yards, you know, it's, it says a lot, not just with the offensive line, uh, but, you know, you saw receivers blocking downfield. Um, on that one stiff arm that Najee had, I think, you know, everyone's probably seen it by now. Um, a lot of people don't see Chase. You know, Chase had an amazing block that, you know, kind of set up that run. Um, so, you know, when as far as these explosive plays, a lot of people, you know, put it on the O-line. Um, but, you know, a lot of that's the receivers, a lot of that's the tight end room, um, you know, so it's t it takes 11 to run the ball, and um, I think we put that on display uh, Monday night. What did Chris Morgan do kind of during the week to prepare you guys? Are you doing anything differently for Monday night to kind of get you guys ready that kind of led to that result? Uh, not necessarily. You know, we kind of just stuck to our normal routine, um, no, you know, no, normal individual type, uh, type stuff, normal practice routine. Um, you know, it's nothing, nothing, you know, too crazy that we did differently. You know, we uh, one thing we did do, we incorporated a lot more um, outside guys into the meetings. You know, we, we had some tight end meetings. Uh, we had the running backs in there as well. So I think, you know, I think that kind of helped everyone kind of get a bigger grasp and better understanding of the full run game that week. Um, so I think here on out, you know, we're going to continue doing that as well. Personality-wise, are they any what similar to Clem and Chris Morgan? Uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're different. Everyone's different. Um, but, you know, I got a lot of respect for Clem and uh, obviously a lot of respect for Simo. Um, you know, I, I think they're both phenomenal coaches. I think Clem was going to do an amazing job in Oregon. Um, you know, I can't say enough about the both of them. I think they're both amazing football coaches and offensive line coaches at that. Mike Clem had a lot of praise for your communication in the game and being able to you know, keep everyone on the same page and set up position. What was that challenge like for you to be ready for that week after you were in an offensive event? And who might have helped you? Yeah, uh, you know, just practice throughout the week, preparation throughout the week. Um, you know, the coaches did a great job, you know, showing us all the looks we're going to have. Um, you know, we met on all the different type of variables that we could see. Um, and, you know, we, we met that challenge, and it's the, it's the center's job to be able to communicate wh whoever's in there. Um, you know what I mean? So that's just the role that we have to play. It's part of our job is to, you know, get everyone on the same page. What's a game like that do for your unit confidence-wise? I can't hear. What was that? What's a game like that do for your unit confidence-wise? I imagine you've been waiting on that all season. Yeah, no, like like I said, I mean, any time you rush, you know, for those many yards, it's, it's a huge confidence booster. Um, so, I mean, to answer your question, it's, it's been, you know, just a big confidence booster for sure. Jason, what allows a rookie 350-something touches whenever he has? Yep. Oh, it's it's amazing. Um, you know, I, I I can't talk enough about Najee. You know, a couple of days ago, I, I I said he was the ultimate competitor, and I, you know, I, I stand by that. He's probably one of the, um, you know, just he's just he's just a dog. <laughs> I mean, like he's he he grinds. He does all the hard work. You know, nothing's ever you know given to him. He's worked for everything, and you know, he's he's a great football player, a great teammate, and uh, you know, he's he gets what he deserves. You said last week you, you didn't really react or interact much. You remember him at all back then? I mean, yeah, he was the he was starting running back. I remember him. Uh, you know, I was only with him for six months. You know, he came in in the summer, and you know, I was I was out in January, and you know, after the national championship. So, you know, we didn't get like a whole lot of time together, but you know, it's the just the normal season. Ben said one thing he noticed about Najee is that some rookies might fade down the stretch, but he yep. he said it looks like Najee just keeps getting stronger. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I think the whole team's noticed. I mean, obviously, you reporters and I think even the fans notice that as well. Um, I think that kind of goes to his, you know, maturity. Um, you know, a lot of rookies, like you mentioned, they, they, they can, you know, tend to hit a wall. Um, they can kind of phase out. But, you know, I think he's broken through that wall. He's done amazing. Um, he's gotten a lot better. I mean, he's improved every game. And uh, I think that sh that just shows his work ethic and the amount of dedication he has. Absolutely. You know, it's an AFC North uh, opponent, and uh, those games are, you know, whether it's the Ravens, you know, Bengals, Browns, you know, they're all, they're all, always, they're, it's always going to be a close game. Um, you know, they're just a division, divisional rival, and, uh, you know, we, we love playing these games. Thoughts on Monday night? Uh, with the national championship, you know, I'm always going to choose my alma mater, Roll Tide. Yeah, I mean, every everyone kind of talks about you know the you know in the locker room just just you know all the college games, but um, you know we not 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 too much now. <laughs>
There's about 7,000 guys in the NFL from Alabama. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Is there something different there? Um, yeah, I think it's you know I think it's the culture. You know, Coach Saban does a great job of you know treating it just like an NFL program. Um, you know, I think everyone's bought into the principles and values of the organization. Um, you know, everyone just really wants to you know succeed there. Um, and obviously, you know, it helps bringing in five-star guys, four-star guys um, every year. And you know, there's the second team is you know very good. So uh, you know, there's tons of competition um, always there. So. I think that kind of goes towards the success.